Okay, here comes another presentation. Now this is done with the cord hooked up to the computer. So I'm kind of limited on where I can bring the camera. Now this is take two of a video. I made a video before, but I just did such a terrible job making the video. Then I want to try to do a better job on making this video now. This is a General Electric model M8430A cassette recorder. Got it in a state sale for $2.50. The recorder came with the original mic, as seen right here. At the GE logo and an on off switch. On, off, on, off, on. And, as you can see, whenever it plugs into the recorder, it says, Up, Mic Remote. The recorder also had this tape in it when I got it. Now, the tape isn't a GE original, it's a Ampex tape. Had a recording on it. After the recording, there was a bunch of blank tape left, which I was very happy to have all that blank tape left. Um, so I can record on it. Um, this is DC bias, and um, I did such a minor repair to it as I uh, re um, didn't re like replace the belt completely, but I reinforced. That means I put some braces, rubber band. You know, those, you know, I have braces. Yeah, those little rubber bands for them. I put those around the spindles that the winding belt goes. The belt that turns the re the hubs, they're not really reels, but the tape hubs, I reinforced that belt, also clean the belt and belt path and it help out so it will now rewinds and fast forwards good before it didn't rewind and fast forward on its own and all original dry belt is still fine, all capacitors are still fine, but one other little un problem though that I have though is this little plastic piece here had broken as I was working on it Although maybe it had, it might have been glued on before because it seemed like there was some residue on the other side. I could I could glue that back. But let's um, see some operation here. I'm holding the camera so I have to do this with one hand. Yeah. I'm using the uh, original microphone making this recording on this machine. I'm speaking at this distance if you can even see it from the mic. 10 inches or so from the microphone. I'm now speaking up closer to the microphone. Let's see how this sounds up closer to the microphone. Now I'm speaking arm's length distance to the of the microphone. So we can see how this one picks up sound. Hopefully the microphone didn't do bad. It has a loose connection in there somewhere. So um, it seems because sometimes it was intermittent. At least it was whenever I first tested the recorder. The first two times I tested the recorder. So, let's see how this uh, plays back. I'm recording on this uh, recorder with intermittent, and then you can barely hear, actually you can't hear what I'm coming in, it's coming in pieces, what I'm saying. Yeah, what I said in the recording I did in the other video that I did very terribly on. I'm using the uh, original microphone, making this recording on this machine, I'm speaking at this distance, if you can even see it, from the mic. 10 inches or so from the microphone. And now speaking up closer to the microphone. Let's see how this sounds up closer to the microphone. Now I'm speaking arm's length distance to the, of the microphone. So we can see how this one picks up sound. Hopefully the microphone didn't do bad. It has a loose connection in there somewhere. So um, it seems because sometimes it was intermittent. It doesn't seem to pick up that good, and as you could hear, there was plenty of DC bias background noise, which I really do not like. Okay, now, this recorder may look familiar. I have another recorder, almost identical to it. Can you tell the difference? 
you probably can't really right now. Let's get less light on the subject. Can you tell the difference now? Um, one has a built-in microphone and a red record button, and the first one I showed here in this video has a green. I mean, a, I could keep getting that confused. Blue record button and no built-in microphone. The volume controls also differ. As this one's volume control is all silver and blurry. Really, 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 really blurry. But it's all silver except the numbers are black. I'll turn this light back on and try that. So, yeah, there we go. Nice and clear. Silver like that. And this one here is... um black and silver and their model numbers only differ by then by three this one here is M8430A and this one is M8433A both Korean made recorders both fully transistorized no microchips Steel Rain 3 has almost this same auto recorder but I think hers is a version that uses a microchip this one uses only, only transistors these are both only, only transistors hope you enjoyed the video of this uh, these recorders real quickly I'll show you how this other one records GEM8433A recorder with the built in condenser microphone, and now I want to plug in an external microphone and test that out. Now running it with an external microphone to the remote. The remote turns on and off nicely. Um, let's end this recording now. You can hear both of them have much more background noise than would be desired. Like, like you desire any background noise. But, um, they probably could have, you know, if they were to make it record stronger on the tape, they would have probably made the background noise a lot less. Uh, I did have to the volume almost all the way up, if not all the way up. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of these GE recorders, which are manufactured by Sanyo, according to the fact that their transistors are Sanyo. Two GEs very short of being identical differing from the number three the color of the record button and whether or not it has a built-in mic also the leather the lettering at the top